Hey, what's up, guys? Joel Benavides with the Block Squad Podcast. It's the second, or I'm sorry, uh, yeah, it's the second of June on the Universal Clock. It's still the first uh, here in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, and um, we are going to be doing uh, the traditional format of Block Squad just because I, I tried the, the triple release version yesterday and it was like a miserable failure. It was like uh, I had forgotten I turned the AC off yesterday and it was like a humid day here in Texas. So, it was like really hot in here and I didn't really realize it because I was exhausted because I was streaming at like 2 in the morning and I had to wake up to go to work at like 4.30. So it was just a big horrible mess. I went and I reviewed the video earlier today and uh, and I almost pulled it because I was just a total wreck. Uh, so, But I'm going to leave it up there for archival purposes and, uh, and so that's... Uh, and that's where it stands, you know, we're going to learn over this 50 episode challenge uh, and uh, and uh, hopefully we'll improve together. Um, we're going to take a look. I'm, I was really worried about um, about the audio jacking up. So actually, we're going to kill the stream right now uh, and uh, this will be released a little bit later over YouTube and stuff like that. It's just how it goes sometimes, guys. Um, so... With all that being said, we're looking at Bitcoin. Uh, not much has changed since yesterday, guys. Um, but I, I do want to go over like coin, uh, uh, the heat map and the market capitalization briefly before we uh, move on to the charts. Um, so we can see we have a checkered market. EOS and Tron are standing, standing out on either side. Uh, and uh, we'll take a look at EOS and Tron uh, this time, I promise. I was looking at it before the stream. Uh, briefly and uh, I didn't do any kind of like formal TA on it uh, but we'll take a look at the Austin Tron uh, so uh, let's uh, do a quick uh, uh, squawk of uh, market conditions and then we'll uh, jump on over to the news in the chart so NAM is coming in at 20th by market cap trading at 9.4 cents that's down 1.08 points on the day neo in at 19th trading at 13 and 75 down 1.71 points on the day ethereum classic etc in at 18th trading at 8 and 67 down 0.58 percent on the day tezos xtz in at 17th trading at 1 and 48 down 1.91 points on the day cosmos adam in at 16th trading at 5 and 67 down 7.29 percent on the day iota in at 15th by market cap trading at 47 nearly 48 cents and uh, IOTA's down, guys, 5.7 points percentage points on the day. Dash in at 14th by market cap, trading at 162 and 74, down 1.67 points on the day. Monero uh, XMR in at 13th by market cap, trading at 92 and 91, down 0 0.13 percentage points on the day. Cardano ADA in at 12th by market cap, trading at 9 cents, up 3.68% on the day. Tron TRX in 11th, trading at 3.8 cents, up 13.43 points on the day. And Stellar in at 10th, moving into the top 10 now, guys. Trading Stellar's trading at 13 cents, up half a po uh, percentage point on the 24-hour period. Tether USDT in at 9th, trading at a dollar even. Uh, nearly flat BSV in an eighth trading at 185 and 56. That's up uh, correction down 3.09 points on the day. Binance Coin BNB in at seventh trading at 32 and 85, down 0 0.27 percentage points on the day. Litecoin LTC in at six trading at 112 and 46, down 1.81 points on the day. EOS by the same symbol in at fifth trading at seven and 71, down 8.59 percent. Bitcoin Cash, BCH in at 4th, trading at 4.37 and 69, down 1.6 points percentage points on the day. XRP by the same symbol in at 3rd, trading at 43 cents, that's down 1.57%. Ethereum ETH in at 2nd, trading at 2.66 and 34, interesting chart there, uh, down 1.45 points percentage points on the day. And of course, Bitcoin BTC in at 1st by market cap. Trading at 8,577.53 of 0.21 percentage points on the day. And uh, strong correlation between the seven day price graphs, guys. Let's get out of that. Let's close this out and um, let's take a quick look at news. So I was uh, looking at this briefly before the stream. Uh, there's some news on EOS um, uh, being released uh, on Coinbase um, as part of like a charity drive. Uh, so that's kind of trending. That may be uh, where EOS is getting its uh, its uh, volatility. Um, and uh, a couple other things. Uh, 
a, uh, a famous uh, Twitter trader came out with a prediction for Ethereum um, and uh, and disclaimers to both sides of the breakout, but uh, essentially volatility uh, is uh, expected uh, coming up with uh, with Ethereum. So uh, that's it as far as like the trending stories go. Um, there's a social media platform being uh, released soon, Blocked Out One. That's according to Coindesk.com. Go check that out if you want. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, AT&T is accepting Bitcoin now. Uh, that came out on uh, BraveNewCoin.com. Uh, and so those are just some of the trending stories. Um, but like I said, it's going to be a short day just because <laughs> I had a train wreck of a stream yesterday. Um, so uh, we're taking a look at uh, Bitcoin on the Bitfinex on the four hour chart. And uh, like I said, uh, ever since our Judas candle yesterday, we really haven't had uh, much of a change. I'm looking at kind of like a triangular uh, pattern forming here, which could mean that we're getting ready to break out to one side or the other. I'm not gonna say what that looks like, uh, but it doesn't look good. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, depending on how you look at it, I guess, I don't know depending on who you are. Um, yeah, so uh, we still have resistance up at 9861. Uh, that was set by uh, a near 10K high back in May of 2018. So over a year ago now. Um, so, and that's right up against that 10K level, which everybody's talking about. We may see, I'm thinking we're gonna see that push. You know, something about like these landmark levels, people love to come and mess with it. Uh, you know, um, I just, I think, I think we have to see 10K uh, before like this epic pullback that's gonna happen uh, soon, you know, within a week. Didn't happen yesterday, didn't happen today. Uh, we did see some volatility within the trend channel, uh, but that's it. So I think we might have another week or half week um, or it could happen right now while I'm spewing BS. Um, please remember that everything that you hear on the stream is not financial advice, guys. I start out with the, with the disclaimer at the very bottom of the screen. Uh, this is not financial advice or tax advice, trading advice, etc. Uh, strictly for educational and trading purposes. Uh, and uh, if you guys are listening to the podcast, you've heard that disclaimer already. Uh, uh, ad nauseum. So... Uh, that's going to do it. I'm going to uh, go ahead and get out of here. We're still waiting for uh, more maturity to form on the chart uh, and in the market. So, I mean, apart from the BS last week, it's been relatively quiet. But, I mean, you know, look at this chart. We're going to see nonsense. We're going to see nonsense. It's going to be an interesting week. It always is. So, um, I'm going to leave you guys with that. Bitcoin trading at 85, 55, and 80 cents. And uh, it is 10.50 p.m. Central, 3.50 UTC on the 2nd of June. Uh, and that's going to do it for us. We're out, guys. Uh, have a great, uh, great Sunday. I'll be back here probably briefly again on Sunday. And then we'll start hitting it hard uh, this, uh, this uh, week. We'll see you guys later. Cheers.